uh, we live. Uh, we live. Seems like it. Okay. Uh, let's continue with some space exploration. I've been doing a bit of design stuff. Uh, really not too difficult to put something together to just receive parts for delivery cannon capsules and uh, send core fragments back to base. But uh, trying to do the equivalent with cargo rocket silos to be a bit more efficient, uh, definitely a little bit more complicated. Unless we just use three cargo landing pads, which, well, probably two cargo landing pads, to be honest. Um, just for the uh, cargo rocket sections and the solid rocket fuel, in order to uh, get this one ready to go again. Um, thinking about the circuitry to change what we're going to send uh, to the cargo, to the one cargo landing pad. A evil plug. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, and it's good to be back. Starting with a short stream because lately, after being on a call for like an hour or something, I uh, get a bit of a sore throat, but I'm pretty sure it's getting better. Uh, but, yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna probably give up on trying to use just one cargo landing pad for this, um, with some circuitry stuff. Um, in fact, if we do use multiple cargo landing pads, we won't need a signal transmitter or receiver on the other end. Uh, the cargo rocket silos have a telepathic link to whichever cargo landing pad they're aimed at. They won't do an automatic launch unless it's completely empty. So if we do like uh, one cargo landing pad for cargo rocket sections and another for solid rocket fuel, and we could probably just take the space capsules out of those. Shouldn't be too hard to deal with. A ragamuffin. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I'm trying to remember how to get back to orbit. It's probably this. No, I think that was pointed at... I was going to automate aiming this at that thing for testing. But I guess I'll just hijack it. So let's go to Nova's orbit. Um, one of the landing pads, sure, why not? It's empty otherwise, right? Good morning, hope you're feeling better. Thank you, I am Suck. Good to see you again as well, by the way. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I am feeling better. I've had uh, not really much in the way of symptoms for a few days, but if I'm on a call for a while, uh, my throat does get sore. Uh, so I'm going to be a hundred cargo rocket sections. I'm guessing all of the research for that is done. In this mode? What's it called? Cargo... It's reusability, right? Safety? Reduces the chance that a cargo pods get damaged. Um, cargo rocket silo... Reusability? Increases the percentage that parts can be recovered. Base is 20%. Max is 100%. Well, that's interesting. So... 
apart from the process of putting them back into another cargo rocket silo and refueling it, we can literally just reuse this forever when all of that research is done. I'm guessing that is going to be... Uh... I was going to say, okay, it's a million of these, but still. I thought in terms of uh, science packs, it would be way further down uh, the tech tree to get that to 100%. Something I might have to consider using. Um, but what I thought I'd do today, if I can find these things, is... Uh, do some design work for a nice, clean, orderly, deliberately designed space base with some decent throughput, as opposed to the uh, functional but very limited uh, sushi system that we've got already. I think we're going to have to move this a bit further away, but... Um, Uh, but yeah, I thought we might run through uh, the first few space sciences with the main bus setup. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get them any closer together than this. Unless we don't want to be able to support uh, 180 items per second. I don't think it's any kind of tragedy that... There's all of this extra space. I mean, there's all the space we want in space. Just makes it a bit more... Okay, a lot more expensive in terms of... Uh, uh, what are these called again? Scaffold? Although technically, we don't need any of this scaffolding. If I really wanted to cut the price down a little bit, I could remove some of them. Uh, but for now, let's move all of this stuff out of the way a little bit, I think. And we can start there. And... I wonder if we could... Uh-oh. Uh, I actually sort of wanted to line those up the same, since they're the same size. Let's add some more scaffolding. And... Cut this. Paste it over here somewhere. That'll be it, tentatively. Although, I should probably add uh, some OP robo-ports. And can we get some more bots? Don't know if we need those, but anyway. Uh, important to have an infinity storage chest with remove unfiltered items on it. And that's that whole thing moved. Fantastic. Uh, we don't need to have all of these cargo landing pads hooked up to um, uh, signal transmitters or anything like that because the cargo rocket silos magically know when they're empty. Um, I have decided to use some logistic bots just to deal with... Oh, I haven't added them here yet. Uh, we'll do an active provider chest, filter inserter, capsule, and cargo rocket section. And that's going to go here, and so on. Um, right. 
So why don't we lay out rocket science one? Whoops, that's that's not what I had in mind. Uh, we need ourselves some space manufactories and set those to that. We need all of these things. Chemical gel. Uh, chemical gel is going to need some more of this. And... I thought chemical gel was made in these. I think it must be... Uh, recycle, uh, decontamination facility or something like that. Nope, not quite. It's definitely one of the space... Oh, it's a space manufactory. Okay. That also requires cosmic water, which requires lubricant. Uh, we don't... We'll probably not need a whole lot of machines to make lubricant. can probably... Huh. Didn't know you could use slush to save heavy oil. Alright, that's probably going to be fine might be better to do the lubricant over this side, actually. And if that's the case, we're going to have to move all of this again. So let's make a bit more room for it. And not forget this part. Not accidentally selecting those. Okay. Let's just move it as far over as possible for the moment, actually, and I can always move it back to the right. So, uh, I've calculated this so that without speed modules, it uses almost two blue, uh, two space belts of coal. So we're not going to need any more of those over to the right. Um, we could get rid of this so that we can connect these like so. And maybe just a little space pipe here. And then... How much does this do? 40 per second. I think we're going to need a little bit more than that. Um, let's see. This actually only uses one per second to make ten cosmic water. Well, no, that's if you don't count the crafting speed of this being two by default. So that's already two per second, but I don't know what else we're going to need lubricant for. Um... Is it... Hmm... I think I would like to have at least two of these. And we could maybe fit them together like this. And some tanks over here for lubricant. Let's see how well we can... I don't think there's going to be a neat way to fit those together, actually. Unless. Could do it something like that. Uh, then it doesn't quite line up with these anyway. I think I like this better. Alright. Uh, I guess we'll just do this. And probably going to eventually be making belts up here, right? No, you can make these on the ground. Pack 
apparently. I don't know if all the prerequisites can be made on the ground or not. Oh, that's total roar. It's a bit misleading. Space belt. Naquim plate. Oh, this is made in a space manufacturing. Okay. Yeah. We're eventually going to need a ludicrous amount of uh, lubricant. I'd rather overproduce it here. 160 per second. I suppose we could always speed module it if it if it gets worse than that. Um, but I think this will be fine. I really don't want to have to move that robopod very much. Or the substation. But if I do it like this, getting the heavy oil around here isn't going to look that good. Uh... Is there a way I could just do like a single row of these might be better? Gonna have to make them face each other with those side pipes. It's not strictly necessary, but definitely doesn't hurt. I think I will just move this uh, over a little bit. Maybe I could move all of these substations down slightly and have it still look nice. Nope. That's unfortunate. Alright. We're maybe spending a bit more time than I would like to on something like this. Let's just uh, keep it working for now. Is there a pattern where I can... It's an odd number, and then we need two small ones. I don't think there's going to be a neat way to do this, is there? No, it's, it's going to be an even number between them, no matter what. So let's go for the 7 junction. And I guess we could leave room for more. Like so. We don't need anything but fluid here. Um, we'll do the same thing with the pipes on the other side. And... We'll add some... Storage. Actually, flip those around. I want to make sure it connects. If that's going to repeat, it's not. I don't think it necessarily makes sense to have these long pieces here, actually. Why don't we just, uh... Just do it like so. That's a decent fit. And each of these has a piece that connects directly. And it's symmetrical. Fantastic. Okay, so that is lubricant. We also need water. I just realized that I've got water way over on this side, and then lubricant is way over here. So we either need to run a pipe of water all the way through there, which we might want to do anyway, because we're going to need like all these fluids together sooner or later, probably. Either that, or bring the lubricant production way down here. Hey, Imo. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Still making a new space base? Yep. Uh, designing a nice, big, uh, juicy main bus base uh, from scratch. So we can have a nice, neat, high-throughput 
uh, space base that is hopefully going to be extensible, but I'm not counting on it. Um, I may try to keep all of the production on one side so we can always extend things to the right, perhaps. Um, I'm not sure. Either that or... If we could maybe... Hmm. Well, this all of this stuff could be moved somewhere else, but um, if we could maybe have things go out to the sides and then... Space trains? Yeah, we don't have space trains yet. Uh, Christoph Game, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you very much for the applause. Uh, yeah, we don't have space trains yet, so unfortunate. That, that'd be much, much, much easier to design. I, I could just, you know, use the usual rail block and just it's actually really easy once you start doing that. Um, but what I want out of the main bus base in space is can we get, um, let's say, all of the tier 1 sciences finished at a decent throughput and maybe room to extend into some more stuff. Triple X poser. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you very much for the applause. Uh, and good to see you again. I... I don't know if I want to move the lubricant way over here. We'd have to get heavy oil down this way. That's actually really easy. And then water's over here as well. I think we will do that. So maybe like this. I made my first mod. Nice. What does it do? Wait, why am I being careful about not filling stuff in? Alright, let's draw up another one of these here. That's not what I was looking for at all. There we go. And another one of these. Heavy oil. Wait, how much heavy oil could this use? Only 160 per second without speed modules. Uh, I think that'll be fine. If we do give him the speed threes we're looking at I'm thinking less than one pipe yeah it's actually still way less than one pipe okay so we can just bring the heavy oil down from here and how many is this six I do wish you could replace pipes like so, but I understand why. Moves your trash items to nearby active provider chests. Oh, cool. So you, like, already have trash items here and you just sort of walk past them and they teleport in or something? That's actually really useful. Very nice quality of life. Uh, so the next thing is these two. Um, I don't think we ever had the slightest problem with cosmic water throughput with the little bases that we've made so far, but I would much prefer to go overkill with this um, as opposed to underdoing it. Now, where would, what would be a good way to lay this out? Can we maybe line up some... This is six by six. That almost works. 
don't really need these ones. And the water and lubricant go in... Well, lubricant can just go straight in this way, right? This whole thing would still only use 8 per second lubricant. That's actually kind of wild. Uh, let's power this and just check if I want to speed module it later on. Yeah, it's a tiny amount of lubricant even when one pipe is the bottleneck. So let's just... Oh, cheats have deactivated again. There we go. Oh, that actually... Well, I won't necessarily leave this here, but I was just surprised that fits perfectly. Yup, nice, nice. Maybe I will give it a go. Uh, can we maybe get... Yeah, there we go. Get all of these powered. And... That actually is all of the... Oh, I need to do this first. Nice and centralized. Uh, yeah, so that probably is enough cosmic water. Considering that we'd be extremely bottlenecked on... It, we, we'd be using 2,000 water per second if we're going to do this with the modules. So I, I think that's probably going to be enough. Might move all of this up a little bit, actually, but then the pipe for lubricant is going to have to come up this way. I think that's fine. Oh. There's... I'm going to have to do it like this, I think. Otherwise, it's going to complain as if we're mixing fluids. I think that looks a little better. Now, uh, how much? 10 cosmic water per second. And each of these can do 20. So, theoretically, we could have 8 of these. But I don't think that is going to be necessary. So maybe, maybe we could do another pattern of four, like this. I don't think there's going to be a very neat way to get the fluids to where they need to go. Also, why are we not seeing any fluids over here? There's no heavy oil, that's why. Um, it would be a bit of a visual aid. Uh, if I could see what was what. Right. So, cosmic water... If I do it like this, uh, both resources have to go around the edges. I think that's going to be the case no matter how I try to rotate or shape this. Also, maybe it would be better if I rotate this whole thing so that the cosmic water points straight at its nearest, um... I also forgot the part where we need water for this. We could squeeze the water in this way. I don't know that we're going to need water for anything else. Um, I need the water way down here as well. If I move these apart a little bit, we could maybe... No, I don't like that. Let's just do a 15er. Not like that, actually. And then these would have to move over a bit.
15 doesn't have connections on the side. Good. Well, not that it matters if it's connected like this. Oh, I could use regular pieces of pipe here and move this a bit closer. I think I like that better. Actually, a 15 is slightly too long. So... But if I use a 9, that's going to be connected to the lubricant. Okay. I think we'll do it like this. And... That's going to have to fit somewhere else, I think. Could do it like that. Yeah, I think I like that better. Okay, that'll do. So, lubricant does not go here anymore, actually. Um, this could be closer. No, it couldn't. What was I thinking? In that case, this one can be a 3B. So where should we get the lubricant to come in? Probably just do it like this. I don't think I'm ever going to get this to look as neat as I would like. It's not that bad for something with pipes. Right, so that gives us everything we need for chemical plant, uh, chemical gel, rather. Maybe we could do the inputs on the inside? I don't think so. Like, we'd have to space them out a bit more. If these lined up as the same resource, it'd be a good idea, but not like this. So, let's see. I think we're just going to have to have like two rows of pipes around the outside. Each at least a tile apart. Wait, what? Oh, I see. Um, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Okay, the petroleum is always on the left side, and the cosmic water is always on the right side. So maybe we could do it a little something like this. Petroleum goes here, and here. And then Cosmic Water is going to look the same, except uh, maybe like that, I guess. Is that right? Let's see. Goes here. And then undergrounds. Like so. And then how many tiles is this? Five, unfortunate. That's fine. Let's 
do a 3B like so? Or would this look more natural? I think this is somehow better. And as for you, we need a six tile connection over here. That's not terrible. Maybe move it down a tile so that this sort of lines up. Uh, yeah, there's no way... Cosmic water is on the outside. So this needs to connect like so, maybe. If I do it like this... Cosmic Water is going to have to make a bit of a corner here unless uh, I move the whole thing, which I'm not going to do. Alright, I think this is fine. Just have to do it something like this. And I'm sure there's somewhere along here we can connect petroleum directly, even if on the corner. I guess that's okay. We're not going to use more than 1200 per second. Actually, if we speed module these, we're easily going to go past that. Let's see. I didn't leave room to put a substation anywhere. Unfortunate. Whoa, that, that, that's a fast animation. Okay. Um, I haven't been using power switches to manage the cracking this time, so I don't have to worry about where the power poles go. Uh, let's do... I could really use some of those giant power pole, uh, giant pylons. Let's just do it like that. Okay, how fast would this go? 1.36 thousand petroleum per second is just a little bit more than a pipe can handle. Um, let's just double check, actually. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure space pipe um, is just as bottlenecked as a regular pipe. So let's see. Um, we'll put some tanks over here and void pipe exactly zero water. Okay. And put some water in here. Uh, I'll put a switch on this thing. Add a little bit of pipe here. And as soon as I turn it on, it'll tell us how fast it's going to go. Uh, true when there are no inputs. Let's go. 2,000. It's dropping very quickly. That's interesting. That's very interesting. I thought we found that pipe and space pipe were the same before. I could be wrong about that. Oh, it's dropping down to... I think it's gradually approaching 1200. Thirteen eighty. Okay. 
So at worst it is slightly better than regular pipe. Interesting. And that would actually apparently not bottleneck this. Learn something new every day. Only planning today? Yeah, I think so. Um, it's going to be a short stream because I'm still being careful about uh, my voice. And... don't know that we're going to finish planning. Uh, so that is going to be... What's it called again? Chemical gel? Alright, what else do we need for rocket science? Uh, machine learning data. Can't remember how that goes. Wait. Oh, I don't have all the same mods. Okay, F and E I. Machine learning data. Need some computers for that. Oh, I already had them. And for that we need green circuits, which will be on the bus. I think blank data cards we're going to want to put on the bus as well. How do I make those? Blank data... Card. Uh, it is made in... Oh, this is the catalog. Okay. Is there anything that specifically just makes blank data cards? There we go. Advanced circuit, copper plate, polished data storage substrate. So I think... Polished... Substrate. Uh, rough data storage substrate, glass into iron plate. Glass is definitely going to be on the bus over here. Uh, in fact, I think it's going to be the next thing. Maybe this should be glass. Probably going to need that a lot more often than stone. Um, not that it really matters which one is which. Uh, let's copy this over here, and change this to glass. Why is this not powered? Let's give it a bit of power. Alright, so... Oh, these filters are wrong. That's fine. I think we can get the bots to get rid of this a bit quicker. And don't think I forgot about you. Alright, so iron plate and glass. This is going to be the first thing where we take something from the bus and build it up here. I don't think it was in this machine, was it? Rough. We can make it in one of these. Should we? I don't see why not. Um, well, let's compare like the size and speed and power. Most, most importantly, the speed and power cost of these things. A crafting speed of 10 versus 1.25, this is the same as uh, a tier 3. Hmm. It also has room for a lot more modules. 
maybe we should use space manufactories wherever possible. It's probably better for UPS, right? Something to bear in mind uh, if we have a really, really scale up. We don't have to point these at each other, I forgot. Okay, so we need glass and iron plate, and it's going to make scrap. The thing that's going to be different to the normal process of designing a main bus base is things like scrap um, that are going to have to go back to somewhere. What tech opens up space trains? It is uh, this one, Energy Science Pack 1. So I think, yeah, I, I think this main bus base, I'm going to want it to get every uh, Space Science Pack uh, Type 1. And after that, we'll move on to a rail-based system. Which is going to make it a lot easier to extend and put thing, uh, put new things into the system and take scrap away and stuff like that. Um, recycler. Is this the only thing that deals with scrap? Scrap. Delivery cannon capsule scrap. I don't think we'll be doing that. Iron, copper, and heavy oil. And landfill. Don't think we need to be turning it into landfill. I should... Hmm. I might add some circuit logic over here just to make sure that we never completely fill the storage tanks with heavy oil um, because we want to make sure that the recycling machine can work. In fact, maybe I should... I know it doesn't affect every fluid, but maybe I should make the policy uh, that we don't want to actually completely fill the pipes for every fluid. What tech opens... Oh, right. Thought I saw a movement. Oh, is this... We're only getting one... Almost two of these machines working. Even though there's quite a lot of heavy oil over here. Maybe a pump is in order? Oh yeah. Look at the difference a pump makes. Although that over here only lasted for a moment. It's down to 80 per second. That's kind of weird. Wait, I think I remember... Where is our coal? Why am I finding myself asking where is our coal when we're working with, like, infinite resources? Oh, because this isn't connected. That should help a bit. I was going to say, um... I forget which side is which, but I remember one side or another. Yeah, because these things output directly into their neighbor on the right, um, it tends to be this side that really gets started first. Um, and then it gets thinner and thinner over here. But yeah, probably more to the point we've only been working with 
uh, half as much uh, heavy oil as we normally would. Yeah, that's better. So I don't know how necessary this pump is going to be, but it can't hurt. Okay. So let's see. Recycling of scrap. Maybe... I think here makes a lot of sense because we can just use belts to deliver. We'll have a little smelting area. Oh, I, I think even just like one machine for smelting should be enough, right? Where is it? Uh, not laser facility. Although I think laser facility... No, never mind. Where's the space furnace? Can't remember what it's called. I remember what it looks like, but I don't see it in front of me. Hmm. Let's check FNEI. And plate. Uh, can be made in a thermo... There it is. Thermodynamics facility. That's a laser facility. Oh, it's up with the furnaces. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, we could use another Omni smelting system for this. But the thing is, I, I want to scale this so that it's going to be able to handle whatever amount of scrap we end up throwing at it. Like, I, I want to make sure we overdo it with the machines instead of, um, instead of spacing for these things and finding out, you know, like, finding out we've run out of space eventually. It's kind of weird uh, designing a base where I'm, I'm basically half blind at this point. I've got a fairly good idea of certain resources and ratios and stuff, but a lot of it is sort of guesswork and trying to leave enough space. Should I do an Omni Smelter? How fast is this? Uh, okay, that doesn't help. Um, let's just use Iron Plate for an example. 1.25 per second. That is not very fast. I know, I'm sure we can't use productivity modules up here. But what if we had, whoops. I did not mean to do that. What if we had speed modules? 3.25 per second. If we had four of these. Oh, that is way under. Yeah, I think a Omni Smelter makes a lot of sense. Also, apparently I turned off Auto Sort and completely forgot about that. It's probably fine for now. Okay. I think I'll just keep it simple and have one furnace uh, for each type of resource that comes out of this. And uh, if we end up needing more than I thought, we can always uh, module them.
All right, so what if we do it a bit like this? I could, a sushi belt would actually make sense here. Also, we're getting up into territory that I didn't mean to. I could move the whole thing down a bit, or I could just move this stuff away, or just delete it. Let's put this over here for now. What if we do a line like so? Could do three of them. There's three of each machine. I don't think these will be necessary. Why don't make glass out of stone? Rough data will eat it? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea to me. I think I remember... Uh, I was making stone brick, and it may have been the case that so far there's actually literally nothing that consumes stone brick, so that didn't work out so well. Uh, so yeah, I think, can we maybe just do one of these? We could probably do a sushi belt with no item counts. Because everything is supposed to get taken off uh, quite quickly. That's not quite right. Let's move all of this over just a little. What? Oh, are these not the same size? They are the same size. Okay. I'm thinking maybe... Uh, maybe something like this. And I'm not worried about productivity modules up here. It's literally just to get rid of the stone. That looks pretty neat. Okay, so heavy oil. Uh, if I do it like this, I'm going to need long arms. How far do these reach? Oh, perfect. Yeah, that looks that looks fine. And maybe we'll put this over where this is going to connect up naturally. Maybe one more tile. Okay, substation, wait, what is this doing here? Oh, that was from a different plan. can just remove that. that seems sensible enough. Okay. What if we had, like, a... Uh... There's going to be decontaminated scrap to deal with as well. We could maybe have a belt... Uh, a couple of belts going... back up this way. It's kind of like a reverse main bus. Um, and then some inserters, that's unfortunate. What do we do? How do we deal with the uh, contaminated scrap?
Contaminated scrap plus cosmic water spits out scrap. All the more reason that we should do these together. Small chance of uranium ore. 0.1%. That is going to take a very long time to amount to anything. Um, is that it? Oh, it also spits out contaminated cosmic water and contaminated bio sludge. Okay. Uh, so I remember having to do like three of these next to each other. Seemed like the most sensible way to do it. So let's start with that, and contaminated cosmic, contaminated bio sludge, contaminated bio sludge. There's a what? There's a chance of getting contaminated scrap out of that as well. Okay. So which, which one's which with the outputs? Oh, I see. The side, the side ones are, uh, bio sludge, and this one is water. So there's no, there's no like bias towards which side is going to be which. I think. Okay. All the more reason, like I was talking about before as well, to make sure we don't completely fill the storage for any of these resources. Um, so... Let's put this over here. There's no way to make this nice and line up with all this stuff unless we leave a gap like so. And I think... Whoa, hang on. Oh, that's water. Even more whoa, hang on. Uh, where's the cosmic water? It's up here. I think we'll just move all of this stuff down somewhere. If I do it here... Nope. Don't do that. What if instead... This looked like this? That seems okay. There's no way that one could fit. Okay, and what I might do is have a pump here, and then that'll allow us to, say, that we have to have less than 20,000 cosmic water in this tank, and that should leave room for any little bits of cosmic water that we have to put back into the system. Um, I would like... I don't know to what extent I can do that with these resources. Um, we could definitely get all of these inserters to switch off if there's too much heavy oil at least since that is what we mostly get uh, from all liquefaction Oops. I wonder if it would look neater if I just connect these like so 
Probably. Unfortunately, undo levels do not work on wires. Okay. And we just want to say heavy oil will have to be less than, whoops, 20k. Excuse me. Okay. Um, as for light, uh, we're controlling light and petroleum with if heavy oil is greater than light and if light is greater than petroleum. So that should actually have a knock-on effect that'll work nicely. I don't know if there's any reason to... There definitely is a reason uh, to limit water as well. Even if only so that we aren't deleting it when we have to edit piping. Not going to worry about that with steam up here. Um, as for the rest, I think we are good. Uh, lubricant. Well, since I have a pump here already, uh, the only trouble is this wire isn't going to reach. I don't particularly want to add a power pole just for this, but I guess we're going to have to. Don't know what else I would put there. Alright, so I think that is, except for this one. Um, I should put a storage somewhere for... Oops. It just barely reaches. A lamp? Uh, sure, why not? Let's put a lamp. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I guess we could put a display here while we're at it. It's the perfect excuse, actually. How many is this? Twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six. And if we're only going to go to 20k... Per container. It's 240,000. Let's add some color. Uh, like so. Okay. Use colors. Uh, it's going to have to be lubricant greater than or equal to. Seeforka, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How was your stream? Welcome, peasant SI. 
hope you're doing well. All right, so I can't remember already. 20,000 times 12, 240,000, uh, 40,000 each. Okay. 40, uh, Wait, we're only measuring one of these, so I don't have. It doesn't matter how many containers there are. Uh, twenty thousand divided by six. Three point three k. I'll leave a bit of slack. Uh, so that's gonna be sixty six. Ninety nine. 1,200. Needs so many data cards. Yeah, I kind of thought so. I'm, I'm going to have a main bus lane for data cards, definitely. 13,200. 16,500. And what's the next one? 19. I'll just call this one 19,000. Actually, 19,500. Why not? Okay. Perfect excuse for something to connect this wire to. Okay. Maybe I'll have to put displays for all the other fluids now. I don't know. Anyway. Let's put some storage for... Oh, we need room for a pump. Uh, we can do that right here. Just gonna have to... We can do a fiver, I guess. And this one is again going to be less than 20k. Oh, that's surprisingly slow. Well, it is four of them, but still. Maybe with coal liquefaction, I should have more cracking. We are going full speed with these machines, right? Looks like it. Oh, I think I saw this one stop. Yeah, it did. That's a little odd because... This is definitely less than two belts of coal. The belt should be saturated by now. It is reaching the end of the belt. Okay, I guess we literally just witnessed it getting to that point. Which is a little bit surprising. But that's fine, I guess. There is a lot of petroleum here, it's just... Maybe it's not getting through this pipe fast enough. Four hundred per second, that's like a third of a pipe, even on even with a regular pipe. This has eight hundred in it. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure why it's uh struggling so much with that. What if we do this? It seemed like that helped for a second. Okay, that's actually a lot closer to enough. How much petroleum is this at full speed? Oh, it's only 192. Okay, there's your problem. 
it might just be super overkill to have four of these. Um, I mean, that's fine. Like I said, with the unknowns designing this, I would really rather have uh, extra machine capacity. Um, and with all the storage, it can catch up with burst usage, I guess. And because it's fluid, if we really want to, we can al always add more. Okay. So, back to scrap con decontamination. Uh, we need the cosmic water to get all the way back over here, which is a little bit of a pain. Um, I suppose it could tentatively come over here like so. I did want... Which one of these spits out scrap? Middle one. And possibly the one on the right as well. Oh, that's contaminated scrap. Okay, the contaminated scrap can just go straight back into this machine. And the regular scrap. Um, would go right about here. Oh, there's no middle. No. Okay, that's fine. Regular scrap goes here. Um, the occasional contaminated scrap we get goes straight back in here. I wonder if there's a world where I'm going to need more than these three machines. Um, that actually makes a lot of scrap. 6.6, 6, six and two thirds per second. This whole thing can only do three. Interesting. It would also... That would be if it was consuming that much contaminated scrap, but uh, material science does produce a lot of it to the point where I'm thinking I might actually regret not doubling this. If I do double it, what's the shape of it going to be? I don't suppose we can... That's not going to work. Maybe like, not quite like that. Hey, Veldak. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hope your cooking went well. Alright. Contaminated scrap goes in here. Let's make it symmetrical. Uh... If I do it like this, I need the regular scrap to come up here somehow. I think it's going to have to just go around the side. Also, I probably haven't left enough room for the piping. Uh, let's see. I think this is six tiles wide, right? So we're probably going to do some stuff that looks a bit like this. Um, if I do it like this, I don't know where the contaminated scrap is coming in. Probably this way. If we gave them speed modules... We'd still be looking at less than one belt. That's fine. Can 
not going to include speed modules by default. Cooking still in progress. How's science? Uh, well, we're kind of it, 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 it's in progress. It, it's going to be a process. Um, that is... I think we might move these apart a bit more. Uh, two tiles. Put this in the middle. Use some long arms. Except uh, Okay, so the main thing is these two are going to get their scrap, contaminated scrap. These things occasionally spit out contaminated scrap, we'll just direct insert those. This probably doesn't need to go here. And this one deals with contaminated bio sludge. Is there any point in connecting those? I don't know, but I don't think there's any harm in it. Okay, I feel like this might be a bit better. And then contaminated cosmic water goes in here. If that's the case, hmm, I would kind of like to turn these around, except That doesn't really work. I suppose we could have a pipe go like this, except we could do an underground. What about that? Okay. I like this will look a little bit better. And I think I might just use some infinity pipes to illustrate this. Uh, is that it? Contaminated cosmic. Contaminated bio sludge. Okay. Remove these for now. I like the symmetry of this build. As much as it's going to be kind of a tangled mess. Okay, so bio sludge itself is... This is just one in, one out, right? Apart from the scrap. I think we'll connect these over on this side. How does this fit together? That's 15. This is 9. That's okay. So then... Bio sludge. Oh, that doesn't connect. There we go. And I think that just leaves... Uh, cosmic Water has to come out of here as well. Also a little bit of contaminated bio sludge. Uh, oh, that already... Okay, contaminated bio sludge comes out of these two, goes over here. That's good. So that just means... 
contaminated cosmic water in and regular cosmic water out. Um, I'm thinking, oops, we could connect this here. Getting it over here is going to be a nuisance. Uh, we could move these over like so. This output already goes around like this. Which means this doesn't have to be here. So we could perhaps have... That doesn't work. Uh, it goes a little bit further. Could maybe have cosmic water connect up like so. Mm, then we just have to get it from here to here. Which is not going to look... Oh, it can cross this part. So then... Cosmic water... manages to get over here. Yeah, I think that's it. That is kind of hard to look at, honestly, just because of the piping. It is sort of neat, but the pipes going everywhere make it really hard to sort of see what's going on. I don't suppose if I spread it out a bit I could do basically the same thing but make it look nicer. Like what if these were all far enough apart uh, that we're gonna need long arms for this bit? Oops. What? Oh, okay. Let's see. Yeah, I think we're probably going to be able to make something a bit nicer. I'm going to get rid of all these pipes to start with. Uh, some of them might sort of be helpful, but I think... They're more confusing than helpful at this point. Okay. So contaminated cosmic water only needs to go from this one to this one. Uh, is it better if I rotate some of these at this point? That might actually... That might actually have been way better even for a smaller version. Let's see. That's not quite right. Okay, so... Goes there, that goes there. And then... Same thing over here. I like the symmetry so far. This can just connect directly to here. This one also outputs the same stuff and it needs to get all the way around here. So that's the first bit of spaghetti. And then bio sludge connects in the middle. This might actually end up being way neater. If we bring this one down here. I think I would rather have the pipes 
all contained in the middle, if possible. Therefore... Yeah, I think... I think I like that better. So this goes here, goes there. If we were to do this but smaller, this could connect in the middle and just underground through that part. I think we're getting closer to a final iteration of this. Okay, let's do the same thing and shrink it a bit. So, all of this goes a little bit closer. And so does this. This can go here. Uh, I guess this can move closer. And then... No need for all of this spacing. Right? What is this doing here? Oh, that's fine. I think this would look a little bit neater here. That can be a fiver. Oh. Apparently that could not be a five. It's because it thinks there'd be different fluids there. Oh, that's unfortunate. There wouldn't be, but it would complain. I mean, I don't know, considering how much uh, neater this build is going to look if we do this, how much more compact as well, I think I'm okay with that. Since they'll never actually be... It's not like this will accept the uh, contaminated bio sludge instead of cosmic water coming in. Also, if we do it like this, we do need to actually connect the cosmic water on the inside to like the main cosmic water supply. So which of these do I like best? Uh, it's definitely not that one. <laughs> this is, uh, it, it's, it's, these are close. Somehow the pipes sticking out the side for this one look far less obtrusive. There's also no particular need to save that much space. In fact, this sort of takes up a similar amount of space to this thing. And we don't have to... Um, I don't know, I don't like those double pipes that are totally unnecessary. This is... I think this one's a bit too hard to look at. And the so-called mixed fluids are going to be, uh, like, bothering me just a little bit. Middle one? Yeah, that's the conclusion I came to. Although we could definitely move this a bit closer. And... Let's 
bring that a couple of tiles in. Oh. That leaves us with the same problem that I was just talking about. Yeah, this is fine. Although I wouldn't mind connecting these up like so. Let's put a 3B and oh a 7. That's pretty good. Oops. That should be a 3. Uh, that should be a 5. Or maybe we could... I don't think we could make storage symmetrical here, so never mind. Okay, I think I like that one. So let's bring it up here somewhere. And before I bring it too close, uh, I need to figure out where the outputs for various resources are going to be. Um, the only physical outputs from the ones on the sides are just going to be contaminated scrap going directly into the middle. But we need to deal with regular scrap and the occasional... You know what, I think we'll just use the bot system for the uranium ore since it happens so rarely. Is SpaceX the only mod you have, or do you have a few other quality of life ones? Uh, yeah, I do have a few quality of life mods for the playthrough. Uh, welcome, Robust. Hope you're doing well. One of the nice bonuses from using up this extra bit of space is we can actually get uh, we can actually get these items out of here pretty easily. Thanks, I've been following a while, just been lurking, playing Factorio myself, no worries. By all means, lurk away if that's what you like to do. Uh, thanks for stopping by either way. I think I'll put these here. And then... That looks pretty good. And that is... Scrap. This should actually be a filter inserter. Bring this over... Can I line these up the same? Not really. I think we'll just put this here, except I should probably... Well, I don't know, the max... If, if I put uh, speed modules in here, the max speed is actually more than half a belt, so yeah. Let's merge it in properly, why not? Although if it's going to be more than half a belt, then I actually need to use both sides of the belt. Uh, I'm not sure of the best way to do that from what I've got here. That'll do. And... Once again, I am a little sad that long arm filter inserters don't exist, although I... I have to change things slightly to make that work anyway. Uh, but let's get the... Ur uranium, apparently? Uranium. Kind of feels weird having to have an extra filter inserter just for this one item, but that's okay. We'll let the bots deal with the minuscule amount of uranium that comes out. Lurking I shall do. Okay, take care, enjoy it. 
I like that you have those landing pads there prepared. It will make things go easier when building. Yeah. Um, I do appreciate that landing pads, uh, the cargo rockets on the other end somehow know when they're empty. Uh, which means we don't need to connect all of these up to a signal transmitter and receiver system. All right, so the scrap is going to go here. Um, three per second. What if we do speed much all this? 7.8 per second. That is still not going to keep up with this. Huh. I guess we could add some more. I, I'm sure I'm like super duper over engineering this. 13.3 scrap per second would require six machines. With the speed modules. That seems excessive. And again, I really would prefer not to find out the hard way that I'm going to bottleneck material science on this. Um, why don't we remove all of this and make some more room up here and I think I would like to do this stuff kind of behind where the main bus is gonna be although it's if I do that it's gonna be a bit of a nuisance getting the fluids here but that's fine I guess uh, we could have it sort of something like this. And we'll have the belts for scrap and contaminated scrap going here. Oops. One to do on my list is to switch from rockets to spaceships. That sounds nice. Like... Basically just space trains, right? I'm sure there's some complicated stuff to set up, but once you've got it, you don't have to worry about all the cargo rocket sections and stuff. Okay. I guess we will do six of these now that we've made room for them. Um, which means this will go here. Heavy oil. It, it's very tentative as to where exactly the oil production stuff is going to be, but let's say that it's going to be like that. You'll love it, it involves a lot of combinators. Interesting. What the heck's what placed all that scaffold? Oh, uh, the superbots. Yeah. It's, uh... All of these items here don't require power and are incredibly overpowered. Um... It's just from the super editor mod. Editor extensions. How was your time off anyway? Everything okay? Yeah, I think I'm okay health-wise, although um, I'm starting with a half day because, like, after an hour on a call, I've found, you know, I'm getting a sore throat. Um, so I'm not completely better just yet. Uh, other than that, had some other things to deal with that hopefully will be resolved soon. Superbots, you say? 
I'll pretend I'm looking away. What? This is design. <laughs> Let me just make sure I didn't miss anything. Uh, but yeah, health-wise, obviously it's going to take some time to find out for sure, but uh, tentatively, it does seem like I may have been lucky enough to not get any long-term issues. Uh, that is, if I did get COVID, because I don't actually know for a hundred percent, because there were no tests available. Um, so that's cool. All right, so I think we'll extend this belt down. Not like that. Extend this belt down here. Whoops, that's wrong as well. What the hell? Okay. Everything that comes out of here, except for heavy oil, is solid, and that turns into sand. Sand gets turned into glass. Okay. If we were to be dealing with scrap at full speed, uh, that only does 13 per second. Wait, what? Hang on, do we need power to... I thought it was only with beacons uh, that you need power to get the correct rate. 15.6 per second, and this could give us 13.3 by itself. Okay, so if we are getting, call it 1.6 per second of all of these, I don't think we're going to have a problem keeping up with that. Four sand per second. Where's the stone? 2.5 per second. 1.25, 1.25. Whoops. Didn't realize scroll wheel would do that. Uh, okay, we might actually need, like, a single speed module in these, but I'm not going to put more machines there. Okay, so then, um, I guess if we merge them just like that, it's actually going to get back onto the main bus as a priority. Although, now that we've shaped it like this... I think I would prefer to bring these a bit closer. And copper... Oops. I'm sure a long arm will be fine for this one. And finally glass. Which I put all the way over here for some reason. Maybe I'll make this one glass, actually. I'm sure we're going to need more glass than steel, right? Not that it matters all that much. Um... Let's just bring that down like so. And copy paste all this. Oh. And this one will probably be steel. Okay, let's get rid of that. And 
if any glass were to try to go down here, yeah, it does, it's, it's going to prioritize that, that's perfect. Very convenient little bit of the layout here that I ended up making to put this stuff onto the main bus. Alright, let's add ourselves some... I really wish substations could be just that little bit bigger quite often. I'm going to need them on both sides of one of these. No matter what. Let's do it like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And up here. Can I do... nope. That'll be fine, actually. Uh, let me just make sure all of those are actually connected properly. And I may as well do the pairing. Make some easier to count and stuff. Okay. Uh, uh, there's only three of those, so I think we'll leave that like so. Substation. I guess we'll go down here. And that just barely doesn't reach. Whoops. No. Alright, fine. Okay. And then we need a... And then we just barely can't touch all of these inserters with one substation, and we cry. What if this was like so? I think I can live with that. Do you have pylons yet? I'm afraid not. How do we get pylons? Uh it just requires... the only thing we haven't made in our game so far is Energy Science Pack 1. So that's definitely going to be something of a priority. The rest of these uh, sound a bit far off. We also need Holmium, which we haven't touched yet. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a sushi belt that it's going to be totally fine to, to not have managed by a circuit system or anything. Uh, the whole point of this thing is to clear out everything that's on the sushi belt as quickly as possible. And it only needs to be as... well, actually, that could probably just go there. Yeah. All right, so that is... I still don't know what it's going to look like, what exactly I'm going to want to do with something like maybe a fluid bus. Although there is probably going to be plenty of room for that. Maybe we'll have this stuff down the opposite end of the main bus base, although that does... Um... 
that does sort of put a hard limit on how far we're going to build it, so I don't know that I necessarily like that. Whatever the case, uh, this stuff I'm fairly happy with. We'll probably use all of that. I can't remember what put me on to setting up all of this stuff when I was looking at the first science pack. Let's see. We've got the chemical gel. We need to make blank data cards and we'll have a bus for that. For that we need two items that are going to be on the bus. I believe polished data storage substrates have to be made in space. Uh, rough. Wait, what? Oh. Rough data storage substrate can be made on the ground. I wonder if we should. Probably. On the other hand, we've already got these two main bus items that we're sending up here. And it's very common items. Maybe I don't care quite so much to use the productivity modules for that. Uh, as for polished... Uh, Okay, yeah, polished can only be made in space. Need to move the splitter merging the scrap so all machines will get it. The splitter merging the scrap. Oh, true. Yeah. If that's the case, uh, I think instead of this... We can just do it like so. Or maybe move this over here. That's going to be on that side. They're going to be on the same side if I do it like this. Um, I like that better. And then... Merge it in here. Good catch, thank you. Uh, Trino, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Any thoughts on ore recycling in orbit versus on ground? Uh, or wait, ore recycling. Do you mean the ore that from recycling? I think just do this stuff up here. I really don't care about the productivity bonus for that stuff. I just want to get it out of the way with a minimum of fuss. Okay. So, polished data substrate required de contamination facility. I think we went for the recipe that doesn't produce scrap. Although, now that we've got everything to deal with the contaminated cosmic water and the scrap, five cosmic water versus one chemical gel. Chemical gel, the ratio is one becomes two but it also costs a lot of petroleum. I think it's going to be better to use this recipe now. This would have been a pain to set up when I was first doing uh, the space science, but now I think we'll go with this version. Is it slower or anything? No. Nope. So... Instead of costing more and just giving us the polished data substrate, it also gives us a tiny chance for scrap. 
and a really small amount of contaminated cosmic water. All right, let's see how, what shape this is going to take. If we do four of these, which is probably going to be overkill. Um, that might be pretty good. This again. And I forget how this shaped up before. That's fine, I guess. But where's the scrap going to go if we do this? Any thoughts on... Oh, right. Productivity not a goal of the map. Yeah, I mean, there's a bunch of stuff we're doing off planet, I mean, on planet for the productivity bonuses, but I am not going to ship iron ore and stone back down there just to get a little productivity bonus, especially because the throughput for that stuff is going to be quite low, right? Um, so we have to get two products out from here. We could maybe... Hmm. Oops. Maybe do it a bit like this. I can't reach through here, can I? Nope. Oh, wait. We need two outputs from each machine. Maybe since the scrap is so very low throughput, it would be better to use bots for that. So this could go here. Yeah, that's going to be a lot neater. Um, and the... Wait. If this is going to be so close to the belt for scrap, I think I would rather pull that off somehow. If it's going to be close together like this. If I had some of that special belt left over... I know I've got it somewhere in the game, but I could use some of that with some belt weaving, but no, nah, I don't want to have to rely on that. So, I guess... I've said it before, but I would really love to have long-armed filter inserters. I guess we could just put it all on one belt and then filter it. As long as we're dealing with this scrap, it shouldn't be a problem. We'll have to limit the outputs. Um, so that we don't run out of room. But I kind of want to keep these the same distance apart. Let's get rid of this for now. I made a mistake on my first attempt on SE. Smelted, recycled ore there, but not product 
activity mistake. I used delivery cannons a lot. And with smelting in orbit, I delayed switching to rockets as kept using cannons. It was a hassle later on. Okay. Um, I think this is going to look a little bit different, but that's fine. Also, four belts is actually going to be insane for polished data substrate. If we don't beacon, if we don't speed module this, we're looking at three point two per second. Um, so that might be a bit extreme. Uh, we're going to need to make the rough data storage substrates first. Oh, I almost forgot. I was thinking about... I was thinking about doing these on the ground. In fact, that's probably a... Oh, sometimes you get scrap. We can deal with the scrap on the ground as well. Right? Do I want to do this in space or on the ground? If we do it on the ground, we can do it in a rail block. It'll be really easy to figure out. That'll be the first um, scrap station that I'm going to have to make as well, but that'll be fine. Okay, so if we suppose that one of these is going to be rough data storage substrates, um, maybe I could even get rid of all this for now. And... We could have another one of these. Let's do this. Where be the rough data? Gray on gray. On gray. Nice and easy to look at. I almost feel like I should research the, um... Uh, what is it called? space platform, just to make some of this a bit easier to look at, like, relatively soon. But for now, well, you know what, the blueprints I'm going to grab um, are, not going in, are not going to include the scaffolding anyway, and I could always do an upgrade plan. I don't see that I can use an upgrade planner to swap the tiles. I make rough substrate in orbit. Why the hex didn't I think about making it on the ground? Probably because the first time you need it, you're already in orbit, right? Like, I never realized until today you could do it on the ground. Could also be good from stacking perspective. True. What does it stack to? Um, 50. Oh, it just gave me scrap. <laughs> when I uh, cheated a stack of it. Lol. Alright. So that's going to be rough data storage substrate. Uh, which means... Okay, does rough data storage substrate get used in anything else? Or should it be, like, actually on a bus? 
it's... No, it's only used to make polished data storage substrates. Okay, so instead of like having a bus for that, well, we should take it straight out of a uh, cargo landing pad and convert it immediately. And then we'll have a... Uh, there's so much to... There's so many things to check, like, should we bust this? Should we bust that? Um, it's literally only used to make blank data cards. Okay, so what we should have here is rough data storage substrates from the ground turned directly into polished, turned directly into, whoops, uh, blank data cards. And I think like here is going to be where that happens. So, how fast would we go if we have this many? Very slowly. I think we'll speed module these. Right from the beginning. That is 8.32 per second. Uh, if I multiply that by... F how much does it take to saturate a belt? Six of the... Six times four for just one belt. Okay. How much would it take? Uh, we need to pop. This is the polished. Okay. Four polished becomes one blank data card and it takes 10 seconds. Just from the feel of it, from what I remember for science, uh, we're not going to need data cards that quickly. We need computer. But I would still like to like make sure I overproduce these machine learning data. 10 seconds. Is machine learning data only used for... Oh, there's so many things like this to check try and make a decent design the first time, or the second time, I guess. Uh, machine... Okay, there are other things, including modules. So we are going to want to mass-produce these. Although, by the time we're mass-producing Mark IV modules, I think we're probably going to have moved on to a rail system. Um, if that's the case, we only really need them here for the rocket science packs. Um, which takes t 10 actual seconds if we don't put speed modules in this. For each machine. So without speed modules, one per 10 seconds per machine. That's pretty slow. And it was one to one for... I think it was one to one? Yeah, one to one for cards into machine learning data. Okay. So if we get this up to like 5 or 10 per second, that's probably plenty. Uh, blank data card requires four times as many polished, though. This is one per second, right? Just for one machine? Yeah. So we're probably only going to need one of these, and if I'm wrong, we can speed module the hell out of it. Um, how, what does it take to support that? Oh, okay. So this is probably actually plenty already. 
Just start a game to check if rough data storage substrate accepts productivity modules. It does. I have to move it to ground. <laughs> yep. Okay. I think I would like to have two of these at least, just to make sure it's overkill. Um, that's actually a pretty good ratio if we don't speed module these things. Okay, so rough goes in, polished, and occasional scrap comes out. And it doesn't need to go anywhere except... Should I do it like this? Is that too... Okay, that's dead center, so that's got one point going for it already. How fast is this individually? Two per second... Yeah, that's pretty slow. So, long arm inserter would be fine. Like so. All of this belt might be a little bit overkill in this instance. Okay, instead of having it bend like that, we could flip these around. Uh, underground pipe. That is contaminated. Gonna need some pipe for the cosmic water. Actually, maybe this could go down here. That just barely fits. Nice. Uh, where is... I guess that would have to go like that. Which is fine. Okay, and then we have these guys taking up quite a bit of space. Maybe I should even space these out a little bit more if I'm going to have great big monstrosities like this. Oops. Okay. So then we have... how fast is this? Only four polished per second goes in there. That looks kind of weird, like it's not aiming at the machine. There we go. And we need copper and advanced circuits. Uh, how much do we need? Not a whole lot. 12 per second and 6 per second. Do it like this. And I haven't decided which one of these should be advanced circuits. I could very well go ahead and change it. But it's fine if things have to cross through all of this. I keep moving stone. I think I'll make this... We'll, we'll put circuits of red and green varieties here, I think. Uh, that was a mistake. No worries. Can I 
there we go. Okay. Uh, so this will be green circuits. Uh, one of the reasons I'm using the super inserters here is if I blueprint it, forget to take them out, the infinity chests and super inserters are going to be removed uh, in a normal game automatically. You know streamer Vundo, he's at the same SE progress as you are and has a very similar general approach. Five hours ago, he was doing exactly the same thing. After landing pads, he worked on blank data cards. I have deja vu. Nice. Yeah, there's a lot more complexity with space exploration, but some of it is still going to look basically the same, right? I think I'll stop... Um... Maybe I should stop filling these with stuff. I don't know, it's kind of a good visual aid. And it's not that hard to... What the... It's, it's not that hard to move it all out with uh, the super editor. Okay, so... That was nice and easy. And we need... No, you can just do it like that. Perfect. And then... These do leap over five tiles, but... Since the thing we're jumping over is exactly four tiles, I think this looks a little bit better. Okay, so that will be blank data cards, and we'll get a whole two per second. Wow. Uh, what did I need those for, besides the rocket science, which requires machine learning data? which requires computer. Um, so I figured this out already, right? Machine learning data is only going to get used for rocket science packs for this build. So this will be another, like, almost direct insert. This is the part where we start having to worry about, like, a fluid bus. Um, shouldn't be too hard with all of the space we've got, right? Also, how many things do we need to bring together here? Vulcanite block. Okay, here's a couple more things I need to add. Uh, there's no productivity bonus ever for empty barrels. We're already going to bring up steel, so we'll make that locally. Uh, satellite telemetry. Okay, these three we're going to need a bus for. So we'll do that over here, I think. Uh, vulcanite. Uh, satellite telemetry. This is going to end up absolutely huge. Like, really big. It's going to take a while to build. As in, even when we've got the blueprint finished. Uh, satellite telemetry... whoops.
Where'd it go? And then it was rocket fuel and vulcanite blocks, right? Uh, rocket fuel. I was just thinking if I had a ton of vulcanite to spend, it would be kind of easier to just send that up and turn, turn that into rocket fuel, but fluids are easy to get a decent infinite amount of, and vulcanite not so much. Or at least not yet. All right, and just for illustrative purposes. Solid rocket fuel, vulcanite block. And okay, check, 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 check check because it's just one step from steel. Uh, we just need the machine learning data. Green circuits and blank data cards. What would be the best way to do this? How many do I need? If we're getting one rocket science pack per second... Then, oh, this is actually a one-to-one -one ratio. Is one per second a decent target? Should I increase it? Um, how many blanks would we be making here? Two per second. Yeah, we can we can keep up two blank data cards per second. I don't think I think there were other things we needed blank data cards for, but Dutch Shepherd, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. My station space station's made of four hundred K scaffolding. Or three hundred K. Nice. Check, check, check. Yes indeed. Don't forget you can also add prod modules. Wait. Which thing can I add prod modules to? It's not these, right? Oh, to the, uh, to the science lab? This thing? Speed modules, okay. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm just trying to think what a good target would be. I want to get like an, a fairly even rate of production of each science pack. I'm thinking one or two per second. So two of these would require only 0.2 machine learning data per second. Yeah, we need one of these each time. And each of these can support 10... It's actually a lot. This part is actually super overkill. Um, so I could do... It's a pretty simple recipe. Two in, one out with the occasional... Oh, I thought it was a chance for scrap. There's actually scrap every time. So... Oh, there's better machine learning data recipes later, right? Or no? I thought it was one of those ones where the recipe gets better later on with better computers. Spent a lot of time building the other packs, so I just produced them with a buffer. Aim at 960 per minute. Count nine speed. Yeah, but this space is just going to be um, to get all of the 
Science 1, uh, like for example, Biological Science Pack 1, all of those research is done. Uh, to scale up, I'm going to go to a rail system. So there is a definite end as to what this space is going to be designed to do. Um, I mean... 17 minutes for a thousand science research. That's a good example. All of these are complete, so... I'm just looking for some of the science pack one type researches. This thing would take less than a, would take about a minute. Yeah. Let's, let's go for two science packs per second. I, I think that's going to be enough for what we're aiming for here, which means this is incredibly overkill, uh, which means this is incredibly overkill. Why don't we just do the regular science packs overkill at the very least? They're probably going to be needed in more researches than other things. So let's just go with this ratio here. So we need 20 of these machines to keep up with two of these. I think we'll aim these at the middle. So we can put the fluid in the same place. And we have to figure out where the belts are going to go as well. Um, let's see. Uh, maybe like that. If I... Do it that way. Hmm. If I use one side of the belt for machine learning data, that might work out better. I'm just trying to figure out how to physically lay this out. I'd like to have, if I can, one belt for output, one item on each side. Unfortunately, because of the two different types of items, I need to have filter inserters. Maybe, like, that's not going to work. Or maybe we could just have inserters for output, and then uh, splitters. Oh, I almost forgot. Where was it? I was trying to figure out... It's this one. So we want to limit the output of this if there are... We need to take the scrap away. Do that here. And we'll do something like, if there's any polished data storage substrates here, then we need to stop. Whoop. Polished data storage substrate greater than, uh, equals zero. I could just do anything equals zero, I guess. Uh, this sort of describes it better. Well, not anything. Uh, each? Whatever. This is fine. So if there's any polished here, then these machines stop. This is going to be our output for scrap. Whoops. And we still need to figure out... Oh, I did figure out how to get the water there. That's good. Um, so regular scrap is going to 
come up here. Probably gonna move that all slightly, maybe. That's fine. And we'll do a similar thing with this, I think. Better overkill than underkill? Yeah. How many is this? 16. Jeez. Uh, you know what? I think I might just speed module these up a bit so I don't have to build quite so many. What's the ratio looking like? need just a little bit more. One to point nine. This is going to be overdoing it, isn't it? Yep. This is fine. So this will give us 1.8 of these per second, and this would only consume point two. How many of these would I need? Well, I guess we could speed module them. They're so big. I don't really want to have to build more. Uh, that is... We'd need like four of these to consume it all. Even more than that, actually. 1.8 per second. Uh, 5 would make 7. I don't want to do an odd number. So, what does this demand? 1.36 per second. This is 1.44. 1.08. Okay, we're going with 8. 2 to 8 to 4. Good enough. And then... So, bus, 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 local, fluid. That's it. Then we just have to spirit away our few resources. Uh, let's see. I do wish I could just have the long arms only pick up what the filter inserters don't pick up. That'd be nice. This is going to need to be further apart, at the very least. Alright, one thing at a time. We need green circuits and blank data cards. Uh, may have forgot the minor detail of an input for this thing. What if we do the input down here? I can do long arms like so. We're gonna need some fluids. Oops. Probably do the same thing here so that there's room for some inserters. Like so. Red circuit belt. Reached tier 8 of all modules. 40 prod 8 already. Base made. Also over 800,000 prod 1. Jesus. Module built consumed any excess that came from my belt. It is going to be quite a task, like, even after fully completing space exploration and, like, having seen it all and knowing where everything goes, to try and build a good mega base for this, that's pretty challenging. There's a lot of stuff to try and consider all at once. Uh, I 
guess we could probably filter out the final product here. Machine learning data. And could we just get rid of the scrap on the outside? Is it that easy? All along? Yeah, I think I think that'll be fine. Okay, normally I would turn this I know what to do. It's it's a little unorthodox, but we could just have an underground belt that doesn't go anywhere. So that this belt stops here. Definitely on mega base path. Yeah, it's gonna take a while though. Uh, let's bring this one over here. That's a little bit neater. And the amount of scrap we're gonna get is nowhere near enough to worry about what a belt can handle. That'll be on that side. This can be on this side. Easy enough. Substations are gonna make me sad again, I think. Oh yeah, very sad. Uh, this might not be so bad. Actually, that's 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 perfect. Nice. All right, and scrap goes wee 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 all the way home. Uh, at this point, it's looking like so much for having like a reverse bus for scrap. I guess if we just move this out a bit and it can go up and down like this, it should be pretty easy to have other builds access that belt. Um, but meanwhile, that's going to be our machine learning data. One, two, th one, two, three. I think I might just move this over here-ish. I don't know. Gonna need a bit more space, whatever the case. Uh, so we're gonna need three belts of input for these. Since it's five items, we could have machine learning data take up one belt. Which means we could effectively have two belts in the middle. And one on the outside. Or we could bring these closer and... We'll see. Alright, so... We obviously need to make some empty barrels. I don't know how fast we need to make the empty barrels. Ten per second. That's a bit scary. Uh, wait, this makes ten per second. And we need... 1.32 per second. I think we can probably get away with just one of these little baby machines to make the empty barrels. We don't even need a speed... Uh, we just barely need a speed module on it to keep up with that. So that's going to be fine. Um, the only question now is what's the nicest way to do the layout for this part. I think we'll just do this for steel. And how fast? Wait. Give it a little speed module. 
How fast would this be? 1.7 per second. Blue insert is going to be fine. Uh, we need... If we're going to do it like that, we need one belt here. Otherwise, we need two. Where's the output going to be? Let's try... Let's try doing it like this. And then... Rocket... Whoops. Rocket science pack goes here. Do this trick again, I guess. Uh, but where is this going to actually go? I guess at this rate, science could be over here somewhere. Hey, Majagas. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um... I'm pretty sure for the fluids, we'll just do it like this. And so on. And then... So this is going to be, well, we're going to need empty barrels here. Which side is that going to be on? Oh, it would help if we gave it some power. Oops. This side. Oh. That would have been a better way to test it. It's actually quite convenient. One of the other resources can uh, can just connect like so. So we'll start with satellite telemetry, which is all the way over here. Wait, what's, does the ratio matter at all? No, it's one of everything. Cool. So next is solid rocket fuel and vulcanite. I wonder if this would look better. Not really. Where is our solid rocket fuel and vulcanite? There we go. Let's do this again. And away we go. Is this your test world? Yes, indeed. What if you don't have enough life support? Uh, wait, for what? Um, I mean, I always make sure I ha have plenty of life support. I in an emergency, you can always jump into a space capsule. You don't actually need life support in there. So that should... Oh, then we have to deal with junk data cards. I think that needs a recycler, right? Or not? Junk data card. Uh, let's see. In a supercomputer... We get blank or broken data card as an output. Mm. 
Okay. And I wonder how we're going to do the output for this one. I'll just do this for the moment. Oh, almost forgot this is going to have to go all the way around here. And then, where should we output? Oh, perfect. I think. Possibly. If I do that, how am I going to... I suppose I could always do, like, some undergrounds here or something. Wait, does that actually... That actually works, doesn't it? Like, this isn't gonna... Hold on. Is this gonna be able to pick something up that it needs? Let's go machine learning data. Yeah, that works. Okay, cool. And this works as well. Yeah. All right, that's nice. Um, so we've got the rocket science packs going down here. And this stuff merges over here. So we just need the junk data card. Uh, Bubabis, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And I'll just use both sides of the belt for that. Actually, what I might do is spin this around. We'll take the junk data cards up here. That way we can take advantage of the coolant. Uh, this is negative 10, right? And comes out at 25 degrees. Yeah, perfect. So we can take advantage of... Uh, that coolant that's already there. We will, of course, need to... I didn't actually quite leave room to get the... 25 degree stuff out of here. Uh, that's not going to be a problem. What the? All right. So this is twenty five degree. The rest of that shouldn't be a problem. I suppose I could have done the same thing down here. There's, there's already room up there to deal with the pipes. Okay, so junk data cards go... Brr. Uh, This just goes here, actually. And I'm 
guessing one of those machines will be more than enough. Yes. Even with the speed module disparity, even if it was going at full speed. Uh, except it sometimes spits out a blank data card that goes up here. I need to set it up so that this blank data card is a higher priority. I think I'll just use a splitter for that. That's slightly unfortunate. Let's do a little bit of this. And then... Merge it in. Input priority right side. All right, so filter in server out. Blank data card. And then we have to deal with broken data card. Oops. Is there a reason why you do this in your test world? Yeah, because it requires huge resources and uh, it just takes much, much, much longer to design all of this if I actually have to physically place the buildings um, without using the test world first. Uh, what was I doing? Broken data card. So that becomes scrap in a recycling facility. What's really required to set up first space science in SE? Well, this is it right here. Uh, satellite telemetry is what you get from the equivalent of launching rockets in vanilla instead of the white space science packs. Um, empty barrel, obviously just steel, solid rocket fuel, vulcanite block is, uh, the first time you get vulcanite is possibly going to be from, what am I doing? Oh, I thought I was in my vanilla world for some reason. Um, the first time you get vulcanite, you're probably going to get it from core mining the first planet. Otherwise, you're going to have to need to go to a planet that has vulcanite just sitting there on the surface or core mining uh, specifically a vulcanite planet. Uh, but basically, there's a not too complicated process to turn... Where is it? Uh... Can I, can I not just, let me put down a constant combinator. Uh, Vulcanite. Uh, you need to wa crush the Vulcanite, wash the Vulcanite. I forget which order you do that in, probably crush first. And then you turn it into Vulcanite blocks. And I'd probably recommend doing that on planet and then sending that up here. Uh, solid rocket fuel, pretty self-explanatory. Machine learning. Okay, chemical gel. We'll start. We'll describe that first because that's a bit simpler. So you've got your usual kind of oil setup. Um, I like to use coal liquefaction in space because we can just send ice and coal up here. It's a lot easier. It, you, you can't send fluids directly up to space. So to get water, you need ice. Um, otherwise, you're going to have to use barrels, which are very much not space efficient. Coal liquefaction, of course, produces way more heavy oil than you want. Uh, so you're going to have to get cracking. 
Um, but that's no big deal. Anyway, we've got the three main fluids. Uh, lubricant. Water plus lubricant makes cosmic water. Uh, cosmic water plus petroleum makes chemical gel, which is one of the fluid, well, the only fluid needed for the science pack. Machine learning data requires a blank data card and electronic circuits, and you'll also have to pump uh, coolant through it, through the computer. A uh, blank data card requires red circuits, copper plate, and polished data substrate. Polished data substrate requires rough data storage substrate plus some fluid. Uh, you may find it easier the first time that you do this to set it up with chemical gel. Since there's no waste product to deal with. But since I've dealt with this waste before, because I've done a bit, I've started on material science, um, it's uh, going to be more useful to do it this way. It's a bit cheaper. Um, rough data storage substrate you can make on the ground if you like. Uh, it's just made of glass and iron plate. And unless I missed something, apart from dealing with all of the uh, scrap and junk data cards and stuff, that is your first space science in space exploration. Huh? Yes, indeed. Should I really, from the start of SE, rush to that spaceship tech? Or oh, these default cargo rockets would be more convenient. Uh, I don't think you're going to get to the spaceship before you've... Yeah, these are... These are really advanced. Um, so you're probably going to be using cargo rockets for a while. Um, deep space science for material science for energy science for astronomic science for. Suffice to say, I haven't. I've designed, I think, all but one of the science pack ones in my game so far. And. Oh, two of them, actually. And that in and of itself has been quite a bit of work. Although I will say this much, um, the cargo rockets contain so much stuff that if you have any difficulty with like automating that stuff, it might just be fine to launch them manually. It's an upgrade tech. Not the first tech of the... Yeah, no, no. It's uh, much, much more complicated. Layers upon layers of complicated stuff. And the structure of, like, doing the science pack one recipes, it's much more complicated than any vanilla science pack. Okay, so then... Uh, what was it? Junk data card. Uh, broken data card just becomes scrap, doesn't it? Scrap. Uh, broken data card, scrap. There we go. So this, uh, this almost bus-like belt that I have in mind going all the way back up. If I lay this out like this, which I probably will, um, it's going to have to push that further and further to the left, but for now, I think this is fine. We'll just direct insert the broken 
data cards. And I'll just double check there's absolutely no other use for them. Indeed. Okay. So that goes there, actually. Oh, we've already got a belt for scrap right here. Fantastic. Uh, I guess we'll do it like this. That only has one output. It almost feels like a... It does feel like a strange luxury that a recipe only has one output up here. And that'll be Rocket Science Pack 1. Oh, just Rocket Science Pack, rather. So, apart from where exactly are the pipes going to go, and where exactly am I going to build the fluid system and all of that, um, that's going to be it for the Rocket Science Packs. I'll start the the basic, more exotic science packs down here, I think. And we'll lay those out and get a better idea of if we had built this the normal way, not in Super Editor, and like we, you know, already had a belt going up here for the scrap or something like that. We'll build the whole thing and we'll see where we would have been crying if we, uh, if we were sort of somewhat stuck with it. Uh, but yeah, that is, I guess it's kind of like one-fifth. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know how to get deep science packs at all just yet. Um, I haven't seen these, like, as a thing in the actual game so far. So I think I'll just build out rocket science pack. Astronomic, Bio, and Mechanical. Oh, and Energy. Uh, build them all out down this way. We'll probably put Science here. The labs, that is. And once that's done, we'll take it to the actual game. So we'll continue this, uh, I think, tomorrow. In the meantime, I should find somebody to raid, I think. Let's see who is streaming Factorio for today. Also, I don't know if I said, uh, Alfie, Ralphie, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Thanks for dropping by, Diablo is streaming again. And I'm not seeing any other familiar names just yet. Should I, should we drop in on Diablo? Oh, he's probably finishing up. I keep raiding him when he's trying to finish. Uh, let's go for... Ah, all gamers, why not? Thanks for the stream, no worries, thanks for stopping by. Thank you all for watching, do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord, the Blueprints if you're interested. If you have uh, questions, by all means let me know. And let's head on over to LOL Gamers. Take care guys. Could I? In a word, yes. Yes, you could. I'd, ha I'd have to cut part of the... and move it back a belt. Because that train station's slightly in the wrong spot. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Awesome.